What's up guys, it's time to clash with Cam. Hey guys, so first off, ignore my base. I know it looks like shit, but I just upgraded to Town Hall 6 and I haven't gotten a chance to remodel. Well actually I have, but I'm a little lazy. I'll get around to it eventually. But anyways, I've gotten a lot of my friends into Clash of Clans recently and I felt the need to make a beginner Town Hall 1 through 7 strategy guide because Clash of Clans is a really complex game and it's difficult starting out um, trying to figure out the best strategy to upgrade your base as quickly as possible. So today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your base efficiently and a few of the beginner strategies. Alright, so one of the major priorities is to upgrade your camps and your troops as quickly as possible because the stronger your troops are, the easier it's going to be to steal the resources. So you want to make sure you upgrade your troops as quickly as possible and you can upgrade your troops in the lab. I'm going to go ahead and start my giants right now because I have enough to upgrade them. But troops are definitely one of the highest priorities. The next thing you want to make sure to do is when you upgrade your town hall, you want to get the new defenses and buildings first before you upgrade existing ones. Um, and then you're going to have to catch those up to speed as well. And before you upgrade your town hall, you want to make sure that all of your buildings are maxed out. And you can tell by clicking on the upgrade button, it's going to say, no, you need to upgrade your town hall to level 7 first. And once you have all your buildings maxed, then you upgrade your town hall. A lot of people upgrade their town halls prematurely because of all the extra buildings that you get, but that's not a good idea because you get a loot deduction when attacking bases two town hall levels lower than you. For example, I'm town hall level six, so I can only up, uh, attack bases town hall five and up without a loot deduction. So if you upgrade your town hall prematurely, it's gonna be harder to get resources because normally your troops aren't gonna be ready for these stronger bases. So now let's move on to bushes and gems. When you first start out the game, the tutorial is going to try and make you spend gems. Don't do that. Save your gems because you want to start saving them for the extra builders. Make sure you cut down the trees and bushes when they pop up so you can get the extra builders quicker. While I'm over by my walls, make sure you guys don't forget about your walls because they are very important and I will show you an efficient way of upgrading them later. But for now, let's start our first attack and one of the most basic attacks is barbarians and archers. What I do is train up one of the barracks full of barbarians and the other two full of archers. That way you keep a constant ratio of one barbarian for every two archers. All right, so now let's move on to choosing your attack. So in my opinion, Town Hall 1 through 7, trophies are not important. What is important is getting the resources and upgrading your base as quickly as possible so you don't necessarily need to get the win. So that being said, I only go for bases with 50,000 or more of each resource. Anything less than that is not worth your time. And when you're searching for a base, the more patient you are, the better loot you're gonna find. So it's always best to have patience. So with the Barbarian and Archer attack, you guys saw that I deployed my Barbarians first and Archers second. That way, the Barbarians are going to distract the defenses while the archers shoot over the walls and take out the buildings. One thing that you gotta look out for is splash damage. Um, so those wiz that wizard tower and the mortar in the center, those are our enemy. But with barbarians and archers, what you wanna do is pick off the buildings on the outside, like collectors, and maybe even some of the storages, and that's where you're gonna get your resources from. In my opinion, barbarians and archers is the best beginner strategy because it's easy to use, it's cheap, effective, and it trains quickly. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend this attack. And it's gonna take a little bit of experience learning what strength of bases you can and cannot beat, um, but eventually you'll figure it out and it doesn't matter if you lose because like I said, trophies don't really matter when you're first starting out. All right, so since I've already gotten all of the resources from this base, I'm just gonna end the battle. And next up, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit stronger of an attack. Alright, so this next attack is a little bit stronger than the Barbarian and Archer attack. We're going to be adding some Giants and some Wall Breakers. So first up, I'm going to break into the wall compartments here with my Wall Breakers. And then we're going to deploy our Giants next to this Wizard Tower. Take that out quickly so it doesn't destroy our Barbarians and Archers. The cool thing about Giants is they have a ton of hit points and they go for defenses first. So they're going to take out those defenses quickly 
and we're going to use our barbarians and archers to clean up the other buildings and they will also speed up the process. The one thing you have to look out for with this attack is the clan castle troops. They are donated by your clan and they will help protect your base. You can also use them in attacks. But anyways, what happens is the clan castle troops are alerted when you get close enough to it and they will go after your giants and take them out. Since your giants only target defenses first, they will not fight back and the clan castle troops will just take out all of your giants and you will lose. So I brought a lightning spell just in case. Um, you wait until the clan castle troops get all bunched up then you drop the lightning spell on them. Luckily we didn't have to worry about that this attack and besides that this attack will pretty much walk through bases like these. Now although this attack is stronger than barbarians and archers I still prefer barbarians and archers over this one because it is cheaper and quicker to train. I don't really like waiting so if you don't mind the wait then you can use this attack but to be honest barbarians and archers is more efficient. As you climb up in trophies you're going to be put up against stronger opponents and when that happens and the bases are too difficult to defeat all you got to do is drop a troop and lower your trophies to an easier trophy range. Alright so earlier I was talking about an efficient way to upgrade your walls you can see that I have one builder left and this cannon here is 200,000 gold so I have 400,000 so I'm going to upgrade walls until I have 200,000 gold left and then I'm gonna start my cannon and that's just the most efficient way to upgrade your defenses as well as your walls so now that we're at 200,000 gold I'm going to upgrade my cannon alright guys so that's gonna wrap it up for this video I hope it was helpful if you want to learn how to get your fourth builder as a Town Hall 5, check out the video on the left. If you want to see some noob trolling with the Town Hall 5 base setup, check out the video on the right. The links will be in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, see you guys later.